In the real world, collecting data is a messy endeavor. There will always be those exceptional cases and outliers that will pop up. In a paper or a spreadsheet-based system, often these cases are just dealt with in an offhand or irregular manner whenever they occur. But in a database, they need to be accommodated as if they were business as usual. The primary way you'll identify these exceptional cases is through the interviews. When asked about the checkout process, an interviewee might say something like, we need to collect the customer's first and last name and credit card number. Oh, unless it's a wholesale customer, then we need the business name and a purchase order number. This brief explanation indicates several data items that might be exceptions or irregularities. We now know that we need to store a separate customer name and business name items. We also learned that the database should be collecting both a credit card data item and a separate purchase order data item. It might also be useful to store a method of payment or a customer type to keep track of which one is being used for a particular transaction. Finding the irregularities in the business procedures is an important part of the interview process, and it takes a bit of a skilled ear to recognize when there might be an exception to the norm. But by identifying these cases early in the process, we can make sure to create a database that is built to accommodate rather than relying on the end user to find workarounds.